hello so in this view let's uh, export uh, foundation plan to dvg and dvf formats so let's go back to our foundation project and let's go to file let's select export we have a lot of export possibilities uh, we can export to an image we can export our schedules to the text format we can export to database efc format uh, Navisworks program, EFBX format for better renderings, and now let's just select DVF format. Let's make this table smaller so everybody can see information. So in here I will use just uh, this drawing. If you want you can make a combination or set of your drawings using uh, these tools. Uh, but in this case, I just have one drawing. So in DVF properties, uh, let's leave all the properties as they are presented here, but let's change print setup. In print setup, I will like to use sheet size by uh, the sheet size I am using. So the program will automatically understand which sheet size I am using. So let's put sheet in the center. Uh, yes, let's use color and high resolution quality for raster uh, drawings and let's uh, save as uh, Revit DVF export. Exporter, okay. So this setup I will use for exporting DVF. And project information from here. Okay, I see most of it is fitted in. Also, I can uh, fill our information for better export the document. Let's press next and let's save this project in uh, uh, the format if you want. So you can use short representation so it will automatically take the sheet name uh, uh, number and it will export by sheet number. If you have several drawings, I recommend to use Combine Selected Views and it will create one DVF file for all the drawings. So let's leave this like we have here. Press OK. And let's export the same drawing to DVG format. In DVG format, uh, you need to make more settings and setup. So for this task, I will uh, create new setup. I saw. And in this case, I will use uh, uh, ISO standard for layers. So the program will automatically uh, convert Revit uh, model categories to the layer. Uh, names according to ISO 13567 standard. Next part, also I should uh, have uh, ISO line types and change all these line types to uh, AutoCAD line types. So also I need to do some modification here, but at this moment I will leave it like you see here. The same task goes for my hatchings, so also I need to make uh, all the changes so my uh, hatches can be recognized in, in AutoCAD and they are considering ISO standard text, the same with text, colors. In the colors I will leave index box color, so just by color ID. Uh, solids, for the solid let's use this one if you export 3d models like i am doing and uh, for units and coordinates so it's recommended to use shared coordinates if you have uh, projects in autocad revit and you want all the projects to have the same coordinates so you use shared coordinates and all the projects should nicely fit one in each other uh, according to the selected coordinates and in this part, I will select Preserve Consident Lines. So when I export, a program will not delete lines which uh, 
uh, is on the top of other lines. So it will create a lines, several lines in the same space. And if I turn some layers, I can see object in, in full representation. Here I can choose which kind of format I want to use for exporting to AutoCAD. In my case, I'm using the latest versions of Autodesk products. So I will leave the latest version of this format. And let's press OK. And here are the same like I did for DVF. I can create setup for my drawings, but in this case, I have only one drawing. So let's press Next. And also short name for my drawings. It's important when you are exporting AutoCAD, use this export views on sheets and links as external reference. So it means all the views will be exported as separate files. So you can link these files to other drawings and it will create special file for the sheet. So you can use sheet set managers and other managers to manage your views sheets and uh, uh, all the things will have exact project coordinations and everything will be uh, linkable to different projects. You can link back these uh, AutoCAD drawings to the Revit and, and, and uh, link them back to the AutoCAD. If you will not use this link, so all the views will be in one DVG drawing and all the coordinates will be missing. So it's important when you are working in BIM projects, don't change this check mark here. Let's press OK. OK, so let's go to a folder structure in which I have saved my project files. So first, let's uh, look the results, DVF file and also AutoCAD file. So in DVF file, I have nice drawing difference from PDF file. The DVF file is intuitive. So if I check my foundation here, it checks uh, my foundation in all the views. Let's say if I check this file, it will be checked in all the views and I can see some information what is in the pile. It checks in the pile view and so on. And also I can read what kind of objects, what kind of uh, uh, materials are used in, in this piles and uh, all other uh, information it is taken from the project. So I can see everything about object and I can select objects in my drawing. This thing is not possible to do in, in PDF file, in 2D version of PDF file. And also I can put uh, some markups. If I find some mistakes, I can draw these callouts uh, and I can put marks. I can send it for review. I can leave some notes and all the person who made some changes will be visible in here. And I can import this DVF file back to my Revit project and it will show all the information. Let's go to AutoCAD project. So in here, double tap, you see the drawing is in AutoCAD format. And in model space, I don't, I have these views, but they are reference links. They are like blocks uh, and they are referencing to the uh, folder from which I uh, created all these drawings. So they are not created in, in here if I want to modify. So I need to go to uh, the reference file or I can edit in, in here and it will uh, open this reference file from here. 